Hello guys, uh, Rapid Chess here with a video of the day and uh, today I want to show you a um, so-called Cochrane Gambit. Um, let's make the first move, z4, e5, knight f3 and knight f6, um, which um, uh, stands for uh, a patch of defense. Um, white takes on e5, that's the main move, d6, again, the main move, and White takes on f7, sacrificing full piece for a pawn. Obviously, black has to take. Uh, in the 19th century, um, the main move has been bishop to c4 check. Uh, but today it is known that with d5, black reaches a very nice position. Yeah, winning a tempo and um, <coughs> blocking this bishop on. Uh, c4 and retreating it to b3 it, it it's not enough simply to play without a piece so i will recommend uh, the first move such as knight to c3 this now is the main move according to the engine and we will look at uh, black's options here so um of course the problem of black is the king obviously you have to ha find a good, uh, a nice square for the for the king in, in order not to be attacked. We need to assume that if we play this opening, <coughs> black will not be expecting it too much. Yeah, because like uh, according to my experience, people don't like to give up material for, let's say, ventures like this. So. Uh, Black has several options here. Uh, the first option I want to look at is bishop to e7 with intention to play rook to f8 or rook to e8 <coughs> and move king b back to safety. So here white gives check on c4. Uh, black defends as, let's say, uh, king to e8 or king to f8 uh, doesn't look really good because white has developed a piece and now controls all these uh, <coughs> light squares around the king and the king blocks the rook so the attack will uh, continue white can castle king side and with uh, this let's say rook on f8 of f1 and uh, playing f4 e5 and attack is mm, very uh, goes very directly against the king so we give check uh, uh, black black block set white take king takes and d4 so um, um, as uh, in many gambits it's not like the first line which leads to uh, like direct win but you have to have a very strong position yeah and to make some development moves and using positional try to play using positional advantage so here uh, king on e, um, e6 is uh, vulnerable to different kinds of checks so black retreats to f7 again trying to play rook to e8 white plays queen to e2 uh, so at this point uh, 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 white uh, is ready to castle uh, bishop is ready to uh, also to join the attack uh, nice uh, king on c3 and we have a um, nice center uh, let's say at uh, at uh, necessary moment we can move pawn to e5 and push this knight and uh, it's uh, sometimes hard to find a nice square for this knight for instance if in this position black plays like rook f8 then this position is already winning for white after e5 takes takes uh, for instance uh, knight to d7 is impossible e6 will make a fork so um, 
let's say knight to d5 and here for instance queen f3 wins this um, th this move is um, this looks very bad for black because of this let's say check so um, again after uh, bishop to e7 white gives this check on c4 and then uh, makes a little bit of development with d4 and we to e2 following all right so in this position black has other options let's say white will play c5 the idea of c5 is to uh, restrict d4 and exchange c cd and then uh, black will have in control important e5 square so this knight which we used to gain tempo will not be able to use to move uh, so white gives check on c4 bishop to e6 uh, black plays like this because it, it black doesn't want to have this strong bishop on this diagonal takes takes d4 uh, bishop to e7 uh, again freeing uh, this um, line for for the rook takes takes and queen to e2 uh, it's important not to exchange the queens and threaten queen c4 check and again uh, <coughs> threaten e5 so this position has a little bit of advantage for white c5 is one of the uh, most popular moves in this position um, another uh, line which i want to cover is uh, bishop to e6 this is uh, probably the strongest line uh, so uh, given that white hasn't given a check on c4 and developed a knight d5 is also not an issue right now so black takes this c4 square from white and um, doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to exchange this piece so white plays d4 uh, black plays bishop to e7 um, one more thing like this bishop really bad on e7 yeah it takes um doesn't do anything it just looks into the, all these pieces and it uh, also blocks uh, queen from maneuvering so it's another thing which we have to understand playing this gambit with white yeah that uh, within second next uh, like five six moves this bishop will be useless all right and in this position um, uh, we can play f4 uh, given that uh, black is not counter-attacking yeah uh, and black has to re be really careful of this c5 d5 maneuvers because we will have additional tempo with d e5 attacking this knight and this clumped uh, pieces will be a target for our pawns which uh, we have excellent center so black plays g6 they want to move their uh, king to g7 bishop to d3 let's say move the king um, here we can castle uh, rook to f8 bishop to e3 uh, um, this position is a little bit better for black but it's about equal yeah uh, because black has to be really careful with moving this knight yeah for, for instance knight to c6 will result in fork uh, knight to d7 also uh, makes all these pieces really vulnerable yeah uh, uh, engine proposes h3 like uh, taking this g4 pawn from uh, g4 square from black pieces and then m preparing this march of pieces in the attack so this position is about equal yeah 
but black plays really precisely this time. And the last um, the, the last line after uh, like this best move knight to c3 is um, g6, also very popular move. Immediately uh, removing king to safety so that white gives check on c4. Uh, black does not leave king in the center, it just saves it on g7. So white plays d4, taking the center, rook to g, uh, I'm sorry, uh, king to g7, and f3, very nice move. Uh, we see this um, pawn structures uh, in um, some, uh, uh, I'd say, King's Indian defenses. Uh, without this d4 pawn, we see it in um, uh, Sicilians with white. So uh, the idea is to reinforce c4 and then prepare g4, h4. I like this idea a lot because uh, I don't see how black can survive this pawn storm. Yeah. So let's say let's make a move to uh, bishop to e7, developing bishop to e3, rook to f8, and queen to d2. This position is plus 0 0.8 for white. Uh, this is an excellent uh, actually the result given that white is uh, piece down, but the um, it's important that um, in positions where you are down material, but you your play is really easy. Yeah, for black, black has to watch of all this e5, g4, h4, h5, uh, just running with the pawns against the king and. Uh, white's game is very easy to play and black has to watch all these attacks while white has ex uh, extremely safe king and uh, a lot of attacking opportunities. The bishop will join the game on c4 on d or d d3 or stay here like in Sicilians and um, wait for opportunity to join the game. All right. Uh, thank you for watching.